Greetings YouTubers on this bright morning out here, nice and cool, and what do we have here? Yeah, we have a 2002 Dodge Ram 2500 V10. And, are we doing brakes? I'm not sure. Well, he said he hit his foot on the brake. He was towing a camper, and they kept on going through a stop sign, so he thinks the brakes are bad, but... Let me show you these brakes real quick. We got some brakes, but uh, right now I don't think we're going to be... Need them on, needing them on the front, here they are. They're kind of sitting right here. Big old things that go on the front. And here are the ones on the back. These are just, look at the size of these things. Huge set of brakes. Pads, uh, pads, shoes I should say. That will be going on the back. So um, I figure, well, you know, my little plus video camera. And, show you guys what happens here in the northeast when rust collects on something that sits around and you hardly ever drive it just like this <laughs> so we got the uh i got the wheel off i got the brakes off man the rust in here was just insane and i just did this last night and we already got spider webs it's almost september <laughs> and uh all that oil you see there's what i squirted on there the frame i mean just look at this this is just from taking stuff apart last night but I did get it cleaned up a little bit I still haven't gotten these guys here off these are E10s this is probably like I don't know an E15 I don't have anything big enough I couldn't get this bracket off I wanted to take this off but this has been cleaned up pretty good I've got all the rust behind here out and everything cleaned up when I would spin this you'd hear scraping and grinding and it was all this ruster from the back plate there that was in here. It was making all that noise. So this side's cleaned up, but here, <laughs> the brakes that are on it aren't that bad. So I told him, I said, you know what? Keep these on it for now. I mean, these are there's nothing wrong with these. These are not even down 50%. I'd say there's probably only about 20% wear on them. Looks like they were replaced not long ago. So that's what we're doing there. And we got these shims stupid shims that go in here and this was just a nightmare to get off the caliper seems to be okay and i pushed it back with a clamp it went all the way in so i'm thinking maybe one of the calipers is bad on the front or perhaps something in the back is going on but i would think if it's not the calipers it's probably the master cylinder or or probably something like that i don't know but i just wanted to show you guys what it looks like under here now this side over here i don't think is quite as bad with the rust I've got like 20 gallon of used oil I use from changing oil. Put it in a squirt can, squirt it up in here in the frame, and there's another spider. Ah, go away. And you see this side's not too bad, but we're going to oil this side and clean it. So I got that wheel over there off. It's done. We're going to be taking this one off here shortly, and we'll I'll show you what it looks like when you take the, when I take these wheels off. Just pardon me, it's really early out here yet. My brain's not quite working right, but um. So everything here is cleaned up. We're going to put this back together and put the caliper on here, but uh, I don't know. I don't think we're going to be putting brakes in there, but I figured I'd do this video anyway and let you know what you're getting into, what you have to do to work on one of these. <sighs> these were cool trucks when they were new. And of course, you got what? Two, four, six, eight lug nuts you got to take off. So the socket we're using is a 1560s. It is for a pretty big lug nut so make sure you have something like this and if these are on here really tight you're not going to get these off with a four-way you're going to have to use a breaker bar like i got there in the socket so well enough about that we'll go ahead and put this together but i just want to give you a look in here just the rust is just insane and this thing sets a lot <laughs> and we salt the roads here a lot too in the hills of west virginia so but other than that, it does turn freely. Um, everything seems to be okay now. It's not making any noise. So I'll go ahead and put this together. And let's go ahead and do the other side. I was for sure, I was going to have to put brakes in here. But sometimes, you know, the customers, you know, or the people who drive the vehicles, when they feel they, they have brake problems, first thing they think, oh, we need pads and shoes. Well, that's not normally the case. So you got to pull the wheels off sometimes and just look. So let's get this on and go to the other side. All right, just a second. We're about ready to go to the other side, but I get everything here back together. I painted the pads red so you can kind of see back in here and through the holes and stuff. 
how much padding still on there. Well, I should say a panty outside and the sides. And I just sprayed and sprayed all the usual I put in there. So I, I don't know. So it's ready to go back together and it turns freely now. No binding. You don't hear no squeaking. All the rust that's behind here is all gone. I still got to clean this up a little bit, but I'll just worry about that a little bit. And uh, I hope I can drive with a big rainstorm and get all that oil sloshed up under there, under the frame and stuff, and maybe, you know, try to save it. But anyway, that's on. Let's put the tire on and go to the other side. All right, yeah, it's really a shame. These are good trucks. This is, I think this was the Twister truck in the movie. <laughs> kind of looks like it. I should know this stuff, but this wheel is off. Let's see, this side, well, I don't know, it's not too bad. Look at this. I mean, this is just insane. This is why you keep your vehicles out of the salt. Anyway, this back here, uh, this is not too bad here, but we still have lots of padding on these pads on the front, so I think once we check the back, I want to drive it and see if it's okay. It could have been just so much rust and stuff on these rotors that it was causing problems too. So I want to clean all of everything up and to eventually take it for a drive. And the other problem we have is the gear shift. It's so hard to move that cable. This it's almost frozen up. I don't know if there's anything I can do about it, but I might look at that in this video. But th thankfully, if there was any oil per spillage or leaked, it did help it out here. It got down here and kind of kept the rust down. But anyway, these pads. I don't know if you can see that there. They look perfectly okay, but I'm gonna still pull all this off and clean it up. Just like I did the other side, I'll squirt a little more oil in here and all that. And unfreaking believable. I've never seen, I mean, I've seen some rust on trucks, and as I got a piece of little metal on my finger there. I mean, this is just <laughs> insane. So, anyway, I'll quit complaining now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning this side up here. Up here, I know everything up front is good. And uh, won't be, you won't be losing any money, hopefully, on this thing. He bought brakes and stuff, put $100 in pads and shoes. And I said, you got your receipt? He said, yep. He says, uh, I told him, I said, well, I'll keep them because I don't think you're going to need them. Save your money. So. <laughs> uh, all right, let me get this cleaned up here. Hey, let me know where you're watching from right now. All right, guys, I was going to say, I'm not going to bore you and show you how to take this off, but you know what? I'll just shoot the camera here and let it roll and see what happens. Let's see if this side's froze up. No, these calipers are not frozen. So let's just see how hard this is to take off on this here. This is a, uh, a T45. It's this little fancy guy right here. And these bolts aren't very big, so let's see if these break loose easy. If they do, then we shouldn't have any problem getting these off if I actually turn it the right way. Alright, so that come loose. That's a good sign. Let's try the bottom one. I probably should have turned the wheel just a little bit better. Just make sure you put it's in there really good because there's a lot of rust in there. You don't want to strip it out. Alright, so that's coming loose, so... Alright, so we're off to a good start, and also while we're here, let's just see how much, oh gee. Alright, so they're, they're, they're free, so I'll go ahead and pull this off here, but uh, that's how you can kind of make sure your job's not going to go downhill and all that. So let me get this off here, and we'll look at everything. Just a little side note, and you can see these uh, came out fairly well. You can see you got to be careful because you can get so much rust in there, you can't get your little tool down in there. So uh, that's good there. And now let's go ahead and get this off. All right, let's see how difficult this one's going to be. You got to kind of pull up, pull out, and pull up, lift up one a little bit. These are massive calipers. It's almost too big for me to work on, but. So much rust. Of course, it's going to make the wire out of me. Oh. All right. Come on, you can do it. Oh. 
There we go. There we go. The goal is not to, to nick my fingers or cut myself on this. There. Which I should be wearing long sleeves. It's hot out here. Uh oh, all right. So there is that. I'm going to lay that up hot for now. Hopefully it won't fall. And there's that. Jeez. <laughs> oh, quit it. All right, let's see what we got here. Brakes look really good. Pads, I mean. So, I just think this thing needs a really good cleaning. And once I clean it, take it for a ride and verify everything's working. Like I said, I haven't checked the brake booster or anything like that. But we'll drive it first. If it's still hard, then I know we've got something else going on. Shims, you know, are reusable. And I'll just grab the camera here and give you guys a nice look in here once it kind of adjusts. So he can. So I get it in the back here. Now you can kind of see the mess back here. A lot of rust. But uh, we'll grease it up real good and just clean everything up. Put back together and at least the calipers you know they're not frozen i can i push them back in with that screwdriver and all that i really wanted to take this off and get behind this here and clean up and behind there there's a well there's nothing this shield's completely gone this dust cover behind here because they will scrape a little bit if you get some rust trapped in there like this and it gets behind there and this thing's spinning it goes squeak 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 you know, kind of like that. So, but I don't have an e-socket this big on this side, unless a miracle happens and I find one before I, oops, put it back together. So, all right. So we'll go ahead and clean up here. I'll come back here once I get everything kind of cleaned up and give you a nice look at it. But luckily, this side's not terrible. Uh, so this is my truck. I'd be spraying it every year with some used oil. But that's just me. All right. Okay, my back and legs are going to pay for this tomorrow. I finally figured out how to get these uh, bracket bolts off. These are 16 millimeter 12 point. I thought they were E-sockets. They had so much rust on them. But uh, I did get them both loose. Take this one out. You know, I don't know why they didn't have some anti seize on here. It would have made life so much easier. See the size of this thing, huge. So there's that one. I don't think you can see what I'm doing here, but I'll go ahead and take this last one out on the top here, and I'll grab the camera here. No lights playing tricks on you guys, on me. And uh, here's the last one. So <laughs> in order to get this out, I sacrifice two breaker bars and the only one I had left was this monster one here that I used for really tough jobs and it finally broke it loose and of course I had to put a piece of pipe on that so <clears throat> just make sure you get your socket on there really really good I mean make sure you get it all the way in there and make sure you have enough leverage to get these off these are just huge bolts but now I'm not going to even bother with the other side because it's already been, it's not making hardly any noise. I don't think there's any rust behind there. And all that just to get this rotor off. So I can see behind here and see there's stuff back here. This, this plate's completely rusted, gone. It's gone. So there's what's left of it right here. Some pieces of it right there and here, but and down here. See, this is what was this is what was in the back of it squeaking so we'll just get rid of this we'll slowly put it back together so so get you a 16 mil socket and that's what it takes to get these monstrous brackets off so 
All right, so I guess we'll clean up a little bit and squirt some oil around and put it back together. So, hey, and it is what it is. All right, so the beat continues. I've got everything back together. I put some anti-seize on those big bolts back here on the back of the caliper. Yeah, it's wet. Who cares? If you don't like it, go buy a Prius, okay? <laughs> but that oil will keep it from uh, rusting uh, anymore, I think. And the good news is the frame, I checked everything. The frame doesn't have any holes in it, so it's good to do this now. So the brakes are cleaned up, got plenty of pad. I can turn this, no binding, no noise whatsoever. And here's a tip. When you're doing these big rotors, put one of the nuts on it, you know, just kind of torque it down a little bit, and this will keep this rotor nice and straight, and you can put all this back on there without any binding, and you won't be saying words that you didn't remember to say when you was a younger kid, or some bad words. So, we'll go ahead and put this wheel on, and we'll go ahead and go back and check the back ones and see if we can find anything there. And I've got these rotors cleaned up as much as I can, but with all this oil is, like I said, it, this will clean off and it won't hurt anything. These will eventually clean themselves off. But we'll take it easy when we first drive it, pump the brakes a lot, kind of work and make sure everything's going to dry off and all that good stuff. Might as well show you what everything looks like before I put the wheel on. So I got the, yeah, big old master, uh, the big old caliper on there and all that. And uh, brakes are red, you can see them. And, you know, a little oil there, but we'll clean it up best we can. And everything else is back together and I can turn this, no problem. It's free. No binding, no grinding, and all that. So, on to the back. All right, so there's the back tire, and ta da! I don't know if those brake shoes that he got are for the emergency brake on the inside. I don't think, I think the emergency brake works off of these pads back here, so I think they gave him something different. But, uh, pads are good there. I don't know if you can see down there, but look at that. Lots of meat there. Uh, can't see the inside one yet. Let's hope there's not a caliper froze, but uh, the rotors look all right. And uh, the inside, I can't really tell. So, uh, yeah, same situation here. Look at this. Just incredible amounts of rust. So, let's go ahead and see if we can get this off. And look in here, and uh, we'll pull this off, off here and check the emergency brake. See how it is. And the frame, well, no holes yet, but <laughs> all right, let's get this off. I'm like, do you want to watch? Leave that set down there. So that caliper looks okay. It doesn't look like it's closed up or anything. Well, we'll look at that in a second. I want to check these brakes out. All right, back brakes okay. Just lots of rust, man. I'm telling you. I mean, these pads are like new yet. Yeah, let's see if I can get this one out. I'll try to save it anyway. All right, and there's that one. It's, I mean, they like brand, except for just some rust and. I mean, they got plenty of meat. So, let's go ahead and get this off. This looks like it's going to be fun too, just like the other one. Uh, I've got to get that off here, this bracket off, in order to see what's going on in here. Oh boy. Yeah. We got our bolt out. That is a 13 16 bolt. I'm using a socket like this, and um, I did cheat. I have this guy here. I've had it forever. Great. 
it works for the top because you get plenty of room here. The bottom, no way. So what we're going to do is put this big old half inch craftsman on here like that. I'm going to cloth and put around this. And we're going to take my sledgehammer and we're just going to give this a couple blows right here. And I should break it loose because I don't have a lot of clearance. If you have a lift like a lot of these YouTubers do, you can make this stuff look easy. So try that, see if we can break it loose. All right, I got the mud flap in the way, kind of. So we'll try this. It should work, hopefully. Oh, it's so much easier than the front. So I get you a little hammer and do something like that. And I probably could have done this with the front and saved my breaker bars, but these bolts are actually bigger. Well, the heads are anyway. So, and there's that. So, and there's our bracket. All right, now, so the fun is getting this thing off, so we'll probably just hit it in the back here. I think it'll eventually come off. I may actually use that bigger hammer and just whack it a few times and see if we can knock it off here. Totally shocked that this thing's actually coming off. Maybe it won't be such a bad Saturday after all. All right. Am I still in a shot? Can you guys see that? And there we go. And yeah, those brake shoes they gave him. I don't know what they're for, but they're not for this. But these are the e-brakes and they're fine. They're actually really good shape. Well, I'll be there gone. Good. So he doesn't need any brakes on this. So I'll clean everything up, put this side back together. So inside the drum looks okay. Uh, not sure why it's just writing on that. But I'm going to have to double check. He, I mean, there, there could be anything. What, what you, on jobs like this, you got to check all the brakes. Make sure everything's fine. Then just start checking other stuff like your master cylinder. Make sure it's working and all that. But I'm not sure. And this master cylinder is down here. And uh, as far as I can tell, it looks okay. I'll push, see if I can push this back into the bore. And make sure they're freed up. But uh, I don't see anything else here. It's really bad. It's kind of weird how that's just riding on the center of that. I can see it right here too. You can see where it just didn't drive it enough. All right, let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. And just a quick note before I put everything together and throw some oil under here. These caliper, these pistons, they're fine. They push right back into the bore. So this side's not stuck or anything. So go ahead and get her back together. She certainly looks like she struck oil, huh? <laughs> I did find out this pin right here, this caliber, this pin that slides back over there, it was actually pretty stuck. I actually got oil in there now, and now you can see I can move it there. So, uh, and this one wasn't too bad, but uh, actually they both were about the same, I thought, but they weren't bad. But this might have been part of the reason why that brake on that side of there wasn't getting uh, pushed all the way in. I don't know. Usually it's, they stick a lot, and you'll get more of a shininess than that, but it, I, I don't know. But anyway, these are free. And now we're ready to put everything back together. Everything went uh, fairly well. So, you know, I'll clean up this rotor as best I can. But when I drive it, like I said earlier, I'll ride the brakes and take my time and try to get all this oil burnt off and see if we have better brakes. Let's get her together. Actually, you got to back up a step. You know why? Well, I wanted to paint those pads. <laughs> but while that paint is drying, check the brake fluid and uh, check this out. Very completely full brake fluid. All that fluid got pushed back to the line so i know we don't have a leak anywhere so the only thing it could be is this master cylinder here i mean not, not master cylinder brake booster that's that's the master cylinder this is the brake booster uh, but i won't know anything until we drive it so that's good to see that we're getting all this fluid pushed back through the line we don't have a leak or anything so uh let's let the paint dry and we'll go to the other side after i finish this side up we are now on our last tire on the passenger side and here's what we're looking at on this one all right so the rotor on the inside, uh, well, these brakes, you know what? That brake's not so good there. That one has a little wear on it, and I can feel some ooh, grooves on the inside. I think we might have found the problem. Yeah, lots of grooves. I don't know if you can see that. See that? It's pretty rough, so 
we'll get it off and see what the pad looks like and uh, go from there. Might as well just watch me pull the rest of the way off here. Oh, this thing's really heavy. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a problem. You see what I see? That would be a problem. Well, there's your problem. Let's look at the front ones. I'm not sure yet if if they're just falling apart because they're rotten. It might make me believe that the caliper's bad, but I'll see if I can push those back in the bore. If not, it looks like these things just rusted so much that they just started falling apart. There's rust behind the padding here. Look at that. So, yeah, I hear the bird. All oh, these pads are falling apart. They're just they're rotted. Oh my. I'm never going to probably get this one out, so. Holy cow. It's been a while since I've seen pads like that. Yep. Just, well, it's damaged the rotor. Oh, oh, wow, on the inside. This is a huge rotor. All right, so let's check this uh, caliper out and see if it was froze. I don't know. Like I said, this video is just for content. Maybe I'll get 50 views. Who knows? But um, I got that back in, and I think this is going to be okay, too. This one's really hard to get back, but I got it back in. And uh, this one's going back in, so I think this caliper is going to be okay. Thank goodness. Because these things are about a hundred dollars each. Well, you can see that going in there. All right, that's great. Take your time. What I do, I when I use these, I put the flat part down in here, and it works pretty good. And uh, all the way in. This is uh, probably the caliper was sticking a little bit, but still the brake on this was just rotten. That's the main issue here, so. so at least we saved the caliper, it's going to be okay. We'll clean it up, but for now, we've got to figure out what we're going to do with this. We definitely have to go buy rotors. Uh, definitely, We definitely have to go buy uh, brake pads, is what I'm trying to say here, as I hear thunder. We're going to have to hurry up here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just pull this whole thing off here and see how the, bad the back is. So that's good news there. At least we can kind of save that there. Alright, this wasn't too bad to get off. Oh, there are the shoes. They're in good shape. Of course, the backing pad here is, uh, the plate is pretty much shot. And, yeah, this rotor's pretty much down to the nitty-gritty. Probably pretty much got to replace that. There's nowhere to get it turned. I can't imagine what that thing's going to cost. It's going to be expensive piece but they're just oh this is bad and I don't have anything to clean that up with so um, if we had some used pads we could put on it and run it for just a little while until we get another one it's not horrible but I've seen a lot worse but it's not what I wanted but this is the problem right here this is why we had brake issues right here all right folks brand new day and we got brand new parts we'll get us a rotor uh, and both rear brakes all this together was only $140 I thought it'd be a lot more so we're gonna stick this on and go ahead and get this side here kind of finished up then we're gonna go to this side and put the brakes on I'm not probably gonna do that on camera but in the meantime looks like we're about ready to wrap this thing up and other than that nothing else to report on uh, the backing plate we're gonna deal with that a little bit later uh, once we get the cable probably figured out we're probably not gonna do the cable in this video that's gonna be another video down the road we're gonna replace the entire cable but for now we're gonna get these brakes straightened out. So let's go ahead and get this on. Ta-da! All right, yep, we're back in business. Yeah, I know. What in the tarnation? What did he paint them brake pads for? Because I can see them now. 
when I look in there, so much wears on them. But uh, hey, we got a new rotor, got a new pad, so it looks like we're doing good. So let's go ahead and finish this side up. Oh, before we do that, I uh, just want to tell you, it's, it takes a little patience to get those brakes slipped over those little clips right there. You got to kind of take a little screwdriver and push down on that brake a little bit. You kind of tap it until it goes in there. So, but those are in there are kind of tight. So, you know, you don't want nothing rattling. So now let's go ahead and finish up. Everything went just as planned. So we're good there. I'm really happy about that. So now put the wheel on this and we'll go to the other side. And just like that, we are done on the back driver's side. New brakes got the little squealers here on the back on both sides. So if they get down to a point when they need to be changed, they'll actually make noise unlike the other ones, which does not have the squealers on them. And if somebody would have heard them making some noise, they probably would have changed them and, you know, kept from all that damage happening from the other side. So now we're going to just put the wheel on. We're going to take it out for a ride and we'll wrap this video up. Hopefully somebody will watch this. I don't know. Maybe 30, 40, 50 views. But, uh, you know, these old trucks, there's still some out there. Maybe someone's going to restore one. But this is what you got to kind of, kind of get into, you know, a little bit with these brakes. So you have to kind of check everything if you want to be safe because these trucks are heavy. It takes a lot of foot power and braking power to stop them. So let's get the wheel on, take it out. All right, everyone, she's running pretty good. Uh, the brakes are actually pretty good now, a lot better than they were. We'll have to keep an eye on that right back caliper. Make sure it doesn't try to stick again, but overall, uh, it's not too bad. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have one of these Dodge trucks, let me know if you have one and comment in the section below. Let me know if you like them. But other than that, we're heading back. We're done and we're wrapping this video up. Thanks for watching. Until my next video, guys, I will see you later.